reading for December 9th, entitled, The Price of Our Redemption. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. As Christ ascended, his hands outstretched to bless his disciples, a cloud of angels received him and hid him from their sight. As the disciples looked with straining eyes for the last glimpse of their ascending Lord, two angels from the rejoicing throng stood by them and said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1, verse 11. The disciples were filled with great joy. Over and over again they repeated the words Christ had spoken to them in his last lessons, as recorded in the 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th chapters of John. And everyone had something to say about the instruction, especially with regard to the words of the 14th of John, verses 1 through 3 quoted. The promise that he would come again, and also the thought that he had left them his peace, filled their hearts with joy. Satan has made men and women his prisoners and claims them as his subjects. When Christ saw that there was no human being able to be man's intercessor, he himself entered the fierce conflict and battled with Satan. The first begotten of God was the only one who could liberate those who by Adam's sin had been brought in subjection to Satan. The Son of God gave Satan every opportunity to try all his arts upon him. The enemy had tempted the angels in heaven and afterwards the first Adam. Adam fell, and Satan supposed he could succeed in ensnaring Christ after he assumed humanity. All the fallen host looked upon this engagement as an opportunity to gain the supremacy over Christ. They had longed for a chance to show their enmity against God. When the lips of Christ were sealed in death, Satan and his angels imagined that they had obtained the victory. It was the thought of standing under the guilt of the whole world that brought the inexpressible anguish to Christ. In the death struggle, the Son of God could rely only upon His heavenly Father. All was by faith. He Himself was a ransom, a gift, given for the freeing of the captives. By His own arm He has brought salvation to the children of men, but at what a cost to Himself. What a spectacle was this conflict. It resulted in demonstrating to the heavenly universe the justice of God. Taken from Manuscript 125, dated December 9, 1901, entitled, The Unchangeable Law of God.